Hello and welcome to another exciting breakfast with Unity. Um, so today we're going to be working a little bit more on crossfade stuff and we're going to crossfade between levels using the script that we found on the Unify Wiki, Unify Community Wiki. So, awesome stuff. So, um, on our last episode, first of all, I want to do one quick thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. This is a stupid thing that I just did because I didn't want to duplicate all this stuff. I really didn't want any of it. I just wanted a new folder. I don't know what I'm what I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna just call this 37 crossfade between the scenes. Crossfade scenes. And um, what we're gonna do is so last time we had this manager thing, and we got it working with the built-in example. Of course, the built-in examples worked fine. But um, the one we tried for CS uh, for C sharp did not work. So um, if we if we hit play here, it'll work because we've got the crossfade example enabled. And if we switch this one on and the other one off, it will do nothing or not what we would expect at least. So I figured that one out. Um, what we needed to do, and actually, uh, uh, one of our users uh, I did it again. I don't have their information. Ah, uh, uh, one of our users uh, pointed this out. Um, yesterday, um, or actually this morning, and had the, the proper solution. Um, and I told them, that, <laughs> the best part is, I told them that they were wrong, and then I had to go back and say, no, actually, you're exactly right, because mine didn't work. So, I mean, it worked, but it had a bug. So, uh, what we're going to do is, I'm going to get rid of these debug logs. All we had to do was add a start coroutine here. And I want to turn off my thingies. Um, so, all we had to do was do a start coroutine on this screen wipe. And if we hit uh, save here, and now we hit play, you can see that crossfade example CS is here. We're going to hit space, and it's totally just going to work, and that's awesome. Although it didn't go back. Why didn't it go back? Uh-oh. I have something going on wrong. Um, oh, I saw this while true. This was, uh, yeah. Uh, definitely need to get rid of that. Uh, that was one of the last ditch efforts I did trying to make something work, so that's that was my fault there. So if we hit play and hit space, we get transitions between the two scenes. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of the um, the extra crossfade here. We just got the CS. I'm just going to do it one more time just to show that there's that, that it's working and it doesn't have bugs when we like try to interrupt it or anything. That was my, my version. Uh, I got rid of this as an I enumerator, and then, of course, the in-progress stuff didn't work the way I expected it. So um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up Crossfade CS. The, uh, I'm going to save this one, and we're going to open up the new one. Um, and I'm going to call this Crossfade Scenes to be consistent. And we're going to reorganize this just slightly. So um, first of all, let's uh, remove this component. Second of all, let's... Let's remove the crossfade example. Let's actually write a, write a new script for that. Though it's going to be very similar. I'm going to duplicate this. I guess I did want this one duplicated a little bit. Um, and crossfade uh, to new scene on button. Since I'm naming it this time, it's going to have a ridiculously large name. Oh, I, oh I'm going to show you. Uh, bonus after the show, um, uh, during the live portion, uh, during the... the what is it called? The wind, wind down or whatever we do at the end. Um, the banter portion. I'm going to show you some func actual function names from Carmageddon because it makes me super happy. Um, so we're going to go in here and we're going to copy this and paste it in there. And um, on this one, we're not going to have to care about which camera because we just want to fade whatever our main camera is, right? And we do want fade time we're not going to have to care about the, whether this is in progress or not because this script is going to die um, in the process of changing levels. We're going to make sure that this script is not attached to the manager, which is not going to die. Although it will die right now, but we're going to fix that. Um, we're going to make some modifications to the screen wipe. And it's going to be in JavaScript, but uh, but bear with me. It, it's very similar. Um, and uh, I'm just going to do it in JavaScript because I don't want to convert that whole file to CS. Um, I might do that at some point if it really annoys me, but honestly, this is a pretty well-organized file as it is. Um, and, and honestly, the, the honest truth is uh, uh, the coroutine nomenclature is a lot better in, in JavaScript. Um, so, um, so we still want this. We're gonna, let's, let's actually put, make this a 
button name, so let's just call this button name, and then let's define that somewhere. Let's do public button name equals, um, let's do fire, fire one as our default. And um, we don't need this hey, and actually I can get rid of that from our crossfade example too. We don't need that anymore. Um, skip all. Um, so we don't need this to be a cur curvature anymore. We're just going to do do fade. I could probably just inline it there, but I don't care. We'll make this void. Um, we don't care about in progress anymore. We don't care about swap anymore. So we can get rid of swap up here. We've overall simplified this thing. And then finally, we just have this um, start coroutine that we don't need a yield return on. And as I said, we really could have inlined this, but I'm just going to keep it. So save. We really don't need this as a separate function. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do it. Fine. You pulled my leg. I know that it's funny to say that you guys pull my leg on things and drag me around, uh, but uh, it's true, even though I'm not reading the comments, I am always thinking about you guys. So, um, so here's our here's our thing. Um, now, of course, this this now has some, some terms that we don't want, and actually, this is not gonna work for us, because this is just the crossfade. It's not gonna load the level, and we really need to do, hook this in at the screen wipe level. Um, so, what we're gonna do is, I'm going to go into screen wipe, and we're going to look at our crossfade, and I'm just going to copy and paste it. I'm going to say crossfade to scene is what I'm going to call it. And we're going to, we could assume main camera on this thing. I'm going to assume main camera on it. So we're just going to get rid of all the components other than the time. And we're going to do some surgery on this thing. So what we're going to do is we need to take the screenshot first. And that's what's, ha so what's happening here, we didn't go over this before, but this is creating a texture based on the screen. It's reading the screen into this texture and applying it to it and setting it to our texture. So our reference here. And so we have this screenshot that we then fade in and that, that this all gets processed by, um, by some of the other more complicated functions that basically, it basically puts the, uh, the texture on the screen. And so what we're going to do is, um, at this point, we should have, and possibly at this point, I'm not sure if this yield is necessary uh, with what we're doing, um, we need to do a load. Um, I'm going to, so camera setup, this is all set up so that um, it automatically turns on and turns off the cameras appropriately. Um, the only thing that's um, really important here is this does need to be here. Um, so, so this call is really super important. All the rest of this stuff really isn't necessary when we're uh, going between scenes. It's a special case going between scenes because we're 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 killing so much stuff. Like the cameras are going away, new cameras are coming in, etc. So we're going to um, make sure that we turn this out enable to true at the beginning here, and we're probably not going to use camera setup anymore. And camera cleanup is really the same thing, but we're going to do the only thing that it does that's really important is this dot enabled is equal to false. Um, you'll have to trust me on that. I'll, I'll show you. So, uh, camera cleanup, this done enabled is false is the last thing that happens. And all the rest is just camera and listener related stuff, which we do not need to worry about in this special case. I don't think we're going to need this yield, though I'm going to comment it just so that we know that there is one somewhere floating around maybe that we need. Um, so we've done this stuff. And, um, now the problem is we, uh, so we did this cam setup stuff wait what did i do wrong here we obviously are missing something important here um hold on camera setup camera is this really it yeah okay cool yeah this is simpler than i even realized we're going to find out that I'm totally wrong and it's all broken. So right here, um, and actually let's do it before that this is unable. We're going to do a load level. So we're going to do um, application.load level, not loaded level, application.load level. There we go. And we want um, to just load whatever we passed in to, oh, we need one more variable here. So we need the level name. 
So time, and then let's make another variable called uh, level name equals, well, let's call it scene, scene name. Honestly, they, they are inconsistent with their own terminology between scenes and levels. So scene name, um, oh, not equals, sorry, colon, sorry, this is, this is the new stuff. Uh, string with a capital G, uh, a capital S, capital G. Um, this is a, a JavaScript thing. It needs to be capitalized for whatever reason. So load level uh, scene name. There we go. And um, we might have to throw a yield in there. I'll just remember that. So save. Let's see how this goes. So um, we're going to change this to crossfade to scene. And we're going to change the things to fade time. You know, I'm going to reverse these. It really does not matter, but for some reason, I think this makes more sense where you're going, how long you're taking to get there. Um, so we're going to do, um, oh yeah, we're going to need a scene name. So public, um, scene name equals, um, I'm just going to have it not equal anything so that you know that when you mess this up. So, um, fade time. So scene name, scene name, fade time. And then there's one more thing we need to do. So screen wipe is actually already a singleton. Um, so when we were when we do this dot use thing, this is actually our equivalent of dot instance. They just decided to call it dot use. Um, as you can see in their awake function, they if uses around, it just like don't do anything. And then if uh, and actually it really should do more than this. It doesn't destroy itself or anything. Um, let's do that actually. Uh, destroy game object so that it properly cleans up. So if you have these in multiple scenes, it will not mess you up. So um, so this makes it a slightly more proper singleton. Both This is all proper enough. So, um, so we do this, and, um, and then what are we doing? Uh, oh yeah, we have one more call that we need to make. We need to call... Um, We're going to, I'll put, do it here. This seems like an appropriate place. Don't destroy on load. Trust me, this is a real thing. There we go. Um, uh, game object, the lowercase version. So now this thing should s survive between scenes and allow us to do what we've just set up here. So let's see how many errors we have on our code. We have some. Um, but... Oh, public, we need to tell it what it is. String, button name, and public string, scene name. Save. All right, so we're going to go to our manager. I'm going to get, okay, I already got rid of the other thing on here. I'm going to just create a empty object called um, load uh, scene on button with cross. This is the most... I named it like I named a function. Oh, well, whatever. And it's totally not the same function name. Okay, whatever. Uh, so we're going to need to load to a scene that we have in our build settings. And I'm lazy, so we're going to use the only one that's in there for some reason. So it's grid spawner. So we're going to use grid spawner. Grid spawner. And hopefully, if we hit play, after all that setup, if we hit fire one. What is fire one? Is it Z? Key named fire one is unknown. Oh, get key down. Sorry. I need this to be get button down. Save. Because before they were using the space key specifically. Uh, get button down, not button. Gotta get my button down. America. All right. So, so here we are. I hit... Fire, and look at that. We transitioned to a new scene, and we can do stuff in our new scene while we're there. And actually, I can transition from the scene back to... Oh, wait, no, I can't because I didn't keep that on there. So that's perfect. So it's working. Um, and the only thing we have to fix now is we have to take this GUI text, and we have to change it so that it says press... Um, press... Fire 1. And I'll go ahead and say that it is left... CTRL to toggle. There we go. Now we fixed that little C bug there. So there we go.
loads a new level and and transitions from the old one. Pretty sweet. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's totally rocking. That's just me hitting the attack button again. So there you go. That's how you transition between scenes in uh, and with crossfade using that cool crossfade system. Uh, thanks to whoever has worked and contributed to this. I might actually um, uh, see if I can put some of these back on the Unify Wiki as well, so that uh, so that these extra features are available. Maybe clean it up and just make sure everything's working good. Maybe add a few more more little tight things, like maybe an equivalent uh, crossfade to scene for each version, because they have like a whole bunch of different wipes that we we can use. So. So let's go ahead and uh, call that a show. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions, please email me, pushypixels at pushypixels.com. You can also tweet me at Drakfire. That's D-R-A-K-F-Y-R-E. That's F as in fire, but spelled wrong. Um, so uh, uh, what else are we doing? Uh, please donate to the show. Um, Patreon.com slash Cooking with Unity. Uh, I we really appreciate your support and um, and it means that we can do more shows and better shows for you. So please donate. Really appreciate it. And you guys have a great one. I'll catch you tomorrow with uh, more Breakfast with Unity and uh, and with an episode of Fight Go Right. Finally, it's been too long. Have a good one and uh, it's see you see you tomorrow. <laughs>